We are going to go through six PMP question solving strategies, all right? Now, in this podcast, we're only gonna go and hit two of them, and we're gonna do another one that's three and four, and the other one that's five and six. So it's gonna be a series, all right? So hopefully you like it, here it goes. So what is number one, and what is number two? Now, when we think about these shortcuts, I wanna have a disclaimer. I want you to be a strong, detailed problem solver. I don't want you to take, like, think of these as quick fixes. Now, these came to me, and you might say, like, Scott, that doesn't make any sense. There's shortcuts. Isn't that a quick fix and all this different stuff? Yeah, kind of, maybe, who knows. But what I, the way I got to these is because I have solved a tremendous number of questions with students. I've watched a tremendous number of students solve questions, and these are just some ways to look at the questions that will help you answer them. All right, so disclaimer over, let's get into the shortcuts. Number one, what we wanna know is does each answer solve the problem now or forever? All right, now or forever, simple as that. Now, the other way I frame this for fun is called gold or fool's gold. All right, both are shiny, both look cool, and both jump at your face, but until you test them, and I have no idea how they test gold versus fool's gold. It might be a biting thing. Uh, it might be in the water, and if it sinks, it's a witch. I don't know what it is to get gold versus fool's gold, or pyrite, I think it's called. I'm not sure. Um, but they're different, right? One, rich. The other one, sad, if you find it. All right? So what is that? Now, a lot of answers feel so good feel so good. They feel like the right reactive thing because a lot of these questions put you under stress. And that's a cool thing from a question writer perspective. They're trying to put you in the in the situation. And I tell you, jump into that situation so you can feel it. And when the question writer puts stress on you to say, the sponsor is pushing you down, says there's no time to do anything. You got to act now. They don't care about anything. They want to change. You screwed it up. All this stuff. What are you going to do as a prudent, you know, person that wants to make people happy, your natural inclination most likely is to take action, is to solve that problem, is to make that sponsor happy, all right? And when you think that way, you end up a lot of times selecting the shiny fool's gold option. And what does that fool's gold option look like a lot of times? What does it feel like or sound like? It feels like a reaction, act, discipline, you know, do those things right there. Take a forward looking action as far as like things you're going to do. And really those kind of answers, you want to ask yourself, will taking this action solve the problem today? Or will it solve the problem today and forever? That's a really big distinction because you could solve the problem for today. That'd be great. Send a report. Well, what happens tomorrow? Do they keep getting the report? Do they keep getting, you know, updated on these things? It makes a difference, right? Because our solutions are not, the proper way to think about them is we're not trying to solve the problem just for today. What are we trying to do? Get them forever. So when we look at answers, this first one, fool's gold or, or regular gold, or it's also called now first forever, is we look at it and we say, what can we do? Which answer there will solve the problem forever? And that's what we want. And if you just wanna have a fun day, you know, an exciting afternoon, <laughs> start looking at your answers just for fun. Just take a question or two and say, let's just go through the answers and let's say, does this solve a problem just one day or does it solve it for every day? Systemically, if you will, all right? And so it is very, very, very uncommon common that the answer will be a just solve today kind of answer. So that's a really good way. And then I also want you to say, you know, what kind of, let's just jump back to regular project management. Um, are the solutions that I'm putting forth in my regular project management life, am I doing the same thing? Am I providing fool's gold solutions or not? And so every time we go deep into this PMP world, we always want to bring ourselves in. I am never of the position that PMP and regular life don't coexist. That is not the way you need to think about this. That is a failure mode at an epic level. What you need to do is you need to understand how, you know, what limitations are currently put on you due to the nature of your work that prevents you from doing this detailed project management techniques. 
And I know that your life is complicated. My life's complicated. The companies that I run are complicated. And so I can't do everything perfectly. But that doesn't mean that they aren't valid. And the, the, the regular solutions are not prudent and good. Those gold solutions. So if we appreciate that, we understand the consequences of taking a fool's gold solution, right? So the same thing is with PMP. We don't want to take a fool's gold solution, a just today solution, a just make a sponsor happy today solution. Because if we have a great sponsor, eventually they're going to say, why didn't you stand up and give us the right solution? Are you the right person for this role? So that's the way to think through it. So that's number one. Now versus forever, or gold versus fool's gold. Boop, we got that one down. Number two, I like this one a lot. Uh, this is visual. It's called the bridge of because. And when I say that, I do the little because bridge, whatever. I want you to see like a little bridge with like a troll underneath it and all this other stuff. A lot of times, the real discovery of learning occurs after we take a jump, after we walk across the bridge. Now, let me frame up how a lot of people solve questions. Here's how it goes. Because we I watch, I don't know how many hours, like 15 hours a week of people solving questions, me facilitating and walking them through question solving Socratically. Um, so I see a lot of questions solved. All right. And here's how the guys and girls that don't do well initially, because we hone them and make them machines over time. This is the way they do it. They start out like at a lightning pace and that's okay because i talk fast right but they go just read the question not even like really even hearing the words in their brain and then they go straight to the answers and they go uh no uh no uh no uh no they gotta say yes to one of them and then they'll just pick one and move on and maybe they'll get it right maybe they won't but i know for one thing they won't be disciplined and detailed in their thoughts because i asked them hey slow down brother like tell me why you think a is right or wrong well it just doesn't feel right i said you know, what they haven't done is spent the time to just burrow down and say, this is what, this is the reason why A is right or wrong, okay? And so what I need you to do, what's the bridge of because, all right? Well, the bridge of because is a, a method that I teach my students to use that helps them discover what they know and what they don't know and gets them the logic to make good decisions quickly. Here's how it works. You might be reading the question. You understand what the problem is. You understand what you're trying to solve for. Sweet. Now you go to A and you read it. And you say, you read it. And you say, I like it or I don't like it. Everybody can do that, right? And then you, the, what? instead of just moving on, you say, I like it or I don't like it because, that's the bridge, because, and then you fill in the blank. <laughs> Life is not hard, people. Life is just having mechanisms and processes to be able to force us to make good decisions and to walk through things and tread paths that lead us in the right direction. So the bridge because, I don't like the question because, and then you have to fill it in. And it's going to highlight whether you really have a foundation. If you say it out loud, and let's be crazy people. If you're studying alone, say the reason why out loud to yourself. All right. The reason I don't like it is because and whatever it is, uh, he didn't follow a proper change control process or um, we are too late in the project to do that or it's too early in the project. We don't have this document established, blah, blah, blah. Or uh, we can't uh, initiate and negotiate and, and fulfill contracts on our own. We have to follow through the official procurement process, blah, 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 whatever it is. Now, a lot of times when you go take the bridge because you walk over to the other side of the river and you say, I don't really know. Don't really know. It feels good. Feels like the right thing or not. And then you'll try to fill it in. And if you're honest and humble, you'll say, don't totally know. And so there you go. Ah, you got over to the other side. You feel a little lost, but you got a discovery time coming to you. And that's a good thing. So what do we do then? We write that down on our evaporating data dump and we go attack it. We try to understand, we try to get a good understanding and then we move through each of them. So that's how you get more questions right because you're gonna think logically about the fundamental reasons these are right or wrong. And you also get to learn a lot about what you're good and bad at and that makes you stronger. So that's great. So these are the two shortcuts that we go through and these are the first two of six that you can start using today 
to get better. We're going to go through three, four, five, six. Now, what you can do right now is if you're listening to this on the podcast, put in a quote, whether you like it or not, or send me an email, Scott at PM Master Prep, and say, ooh, I tried it, I liked it, or I didn't like it, or I'm confused, or all that jazz, whatever. Or if you're doing this on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, just share this and comment down below. I want to hear what you think when you put these into practice. And if you like them, share them. We're going to have more. So take that. Let's get better. We can do it together. See ya. Bye.